Okay, everyone, here we go again. We're still working on the five ring binder and I've got a few more things ready to go. We are in number nine only because we haven't done anything here. And I have a whole bunch of notepads and I don't even think this is all of them. I still think there's another basket of stuff somewhere. So I just grabbed one that I can glue on here to cover up that and it still creates writing space. And I'm just gonna glue it straight on and not make a pocket or anything like that out of it. So that one's simple enough. So let's get that one done. And you can see this Better Homes and Garden magazine cover here is the one I did last time. And I made the paper clip for it. So I think section nine is finished. And that cord is in the way. So that just covers that up. You can still see through it a little bit. And get that cord out of the way. I'm trying to uh, charge my, I think that might be in the way. Can you see that? Maybe not. I'm trying to charge my phone as we go so I can keep doing this. Okay, I know what we're going to do. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so here's the one I said I put the paper clip on. Nine has three pages. Ten. Okay, ten. Decorate the back of it. Even though it does kind of have a little picture there, we'll still do it. Okay, because the page numbers and all that don't go with anything anymore. So I have this scrap wrapping paper. So I just got the blue flowers on it. So all colors go on this. We've not been sticking with a particular color scheme. So this is all the other stuff I have ready to go. All right, let's get it over here. Make sure we're gluing the right side. And this is kind of slick, so I'm going to use a Fabri-Tac. A paper puncher. So I think we're getting close to the end as far as pages already picked out. Of course, things like this aren't really a page. It's just covering one that's already in the book. Okay, of course, hey, what did I do with the lid? Okay, no. And now we'll just trim this out. Trim it out and repunch the holes. At one time I thought about sewing around these the ones I do like this, and it's a possibility. And the, some of these tabs are kind of bent. So putting something behind them kind of helps stabilize them. So, okay, lots of scraps for the scrap bin, way over there. And I can trim this up just a little better with my smaller scissors. Okay, and punching. I never did get the other hole punch out. This one doesn't like to remove the, uh, the circles out of your way. So that scrap of wrapping paper became something useful. I think this is where we were. House plants. And let me get this rolled. Okay, and this is a page from the book. That's a pot of plants. I had another piece of wrapping paper in my stash. I'd already backed with some writing paper and stitched around it. And I think it's going to be the perfect size for this journal. I think it's one I'd made probably for another journal like this. And just... Um, than use so I want to make sure I don't get the stitching so I'm moving it up just a little bit for the holes so here we go again punching some holes but these are fast pages it was already prepped okay Double one. It's two pages, so I get in two holes per punch. 
two circles per punch. Okay, so we'll put this here, and I think this gives us three pages for number 10. So let's look. Okay, so here's 10. It's got that backing. This page, we haven't done anything with that yet. We'll come back maybe someday. <laughs> One, okay, we lost count. One, two, three. And this one we had decorated previously. We're up to 11, and I don't think I had anything for that, even though I could put, obviously, one of these um, notepads on there. So, like, here's a little one. It's got the, um, what do you call those things? Um, yeah, those things. Sunflowers. I I'm going to wait because I just used a notepad on number nine, so we'll just see. All right, vegetables. So I had that one. This was the cover was in my stash. It's from um, Gardner's Notebook, and it's got the vegetables on the front, and it's nice and thick, and it's got places you can write. It's got a little discoloring there, but I think it's fine. So we're punching holes again. Okay. Make sure I get it right. I'm just going to go a little past where those little... Um, Things are where it was torn out of a notebook. Oh, I'm gonna center it. Okay. I should have dug out that other one. These are thicker, so they come out better. Ten makes us halfway, by the way. <laughs> There's 20 of these dividers. I thought about taking some out, but uh, oh, it's fun. Let's keep going. Okay, next, so just scrapbook paper again. I had bought a pack. You know how Hobby Lobby sometimes has like a package for like $5 or something, and you don't get to see what all's in there. So this one had a lot of floral, which is great. So that's where this was from. So I want to make sure I cut that off. So I don't think... I can get nine and a half and leave that on there. Or nine and a quarter. Not really. So what I did last time was I just took, took the birds. I don't want the birds to be upside down. Okay, we'll just go for it this way. Six and a quarter. And, oh, guess what? I don't have it. Yay. If I thought about it real serious, I would have ended up with it. <laughs> Um, let's go this way so we can keep some of the birds. I don't know what I'm saying. Sometimes when you really have to think about these patterns, it just really throws my brain out of whack. Okay, I know I'm making a lot of clattering noise. Let's get rid of this ruler. We don't need it right now. There goes something else off my desk. Okay, get rid of you. We're back to punching holes again. So make sure we get the. Um, Okay, now I've lost my thing. The birds go in the right direction. More noises. Okay. Is I don't know where the other hole punch is. <laughs> I'll just be honest. I'm not sure where it's at. Okay. Are we in section 11? Did I miscount? Oh, no. Yeah, we already finished 10. Okay. 11 had vegetables. One, two, three. This doesn't have vegetables, but the colors were good. All right. 12 is fruits. And if you remember, I had this wallpaper border I found in this dash. So um, I was thinking we could make it into a side tuck here, just along here. And that would be great. This is not straight, so I'm going to overlap it a little bit. And I'll cut it off after I glue it. 
put extra glue here. I know we'll have some sticking out. It's just kind of hard to work with all this roly poly wallpaper border, so. Should have taken the page out. Might have been a little easier. Still can do that. This, oh, this one's wants to roll on me now. Okay, that's pretty close. We have to trim it a little bit more in just a second. But let's get this glued down. So, just want to come off. No, <laughs> I keep thinking of uh, these things, me and upside down and wrong side out. I'm just, ugh, driving me crazy. Okay, I think that's right. Yes, and let's see if I can get it in frame so you can see it. Okay, I could have maybe centered that little, in, that part a little better, but can't be helped now. Okay, wallpaper, you're out of the way. All right, one for fruits, two and three. Okay, this one's just a page in the journal. I would think I was thinking I would use, I don't think, oh, the little girl. That's why I kept this. It's got the peach and then that little girl picking apples or something. So um, let's put this is from a book and it has pears on it. So that's a fruit. So we will just, um, we probably can tear this. Let's see. Yep. And just give it a little torn edge. We'll put that aside for something else. Maybe some journaling cards for this. Punch some more holes. You think I wouldn't lose my little hole punch thing as much as I've used it? Okay, that's right here. Going the right direction. Okay. I like the pears being face up, so let's do that one. Okay. Gives you just a little something between those pages. Okay. 13. Which one there? Um, what do we have? I don't have anything to decorate. Oh, I did have something to decorate it with. I had that, and then I had a thought. What was it? Ugh. See, I forget stuff. How I was going to... Next time I did one of these, I was going to decorate it somehow. It wasn't with snippets. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll come to me and I'll come back to it. But I'm going to go ahead and glue this. This is just torn from a little, um, what do you call those, legal pads. And I just thought we'd glue it in there. Some writing space. It may just be my thought is I have a lot of embellishment type things over on the table. I might have been thinking, grabbed one of those, but we'll do that as we go back through. No, this wasn't what, it was something, the, oh, the washi tape, that's what it was. Do you use some washi tape? Because I'd found the washi tape. I don't think this one's ever been used. Oh, boy. It's got clear tape there. off me. Okay. Now let's find that again. So I just thought some washi just along the edge there and just a torn edge. And boy does that ever need glue. I can tell it's not very sticky at all. I'm going to attempt this. I'm not very good at it. Sure, it's going the right side. I don't think it matters. Yeah, 
that just really dresses that up. Yeah, okay. Now, one, this is one we already made, two, and I found this. This is from a book I bought. It's flower painting, and this is how big the pages are. So it's great for glue books, but I had, um, I don't know, put it with my flower stuff. So I thought, you know, I like this right here. So I'm just going to cut that, and this can go back in the stash. And I want to use this as a page. So it's going to be a short little page, and I don't even know what's on the back. Nothing real great. So we'll consider doing something with the back later on. Okay, all this goes back in the stash. Okay, I could... See, that's going to look good against that yellow. I could, let's see, we want that. So I say I could fold this up and make a pocket, but I like the stuff at the bottom, not so much at the top, so I'm just going to trim off the top. I can't have a pocket at the top. I could have a little tug, but it's not that pretty, so just going to make it into a short little page. Oh, guess what? We're poking holes again. And this one's a little short. Not much, though. Well, I just trimmed it, didn't I? So it shouldn't be short. Okay. So that's what I like about these five ring binders. This can be a page in it fairly easily. It doesn't matter about the size. You don't have to worry about the fold. Of course, that paper, paper did have a fold, but okay. Yep. So that is thirteen. That and that. Okay, fourteen is where I put the other better homes and garden cover. Um, I trimmed it just like I did the other one. I made it so it folds. I did not put anything on the back because I like the colors. I like the stamp. I like the postmark. Even like the little um, postcard by some um, uh, their daughter. Daughter Julie met a guy and they went to Venice and everything like that. So I'm just leaving it like that. And then of course the purple kind of goes good with that. And I had that page already in there. I had a lot of stuff already in there, so I haven't decorated this yet. We shall come back to those. One, two, three, fifteen. It's kind of beat up, but it's got one, two, scrap of paper. All right, let's put, I've got Edith Holden ready to go in here, so why don't we just put her here? So that gives fifteen three pages. And that's got a belly band. 16, it's got tools, so there's one, one page. All right, I have these two, uh, my dog scratching on his bed. Um, trying to make it softer, I guess. Um, these two note cards, so I'm just gonna put them in here, and that yellow is really neat with this. Trim them off, cut them off, I mean, punch holes, and then we'll have like two different flippy pages things. So I'm just gonna use my scissors. And these, of course, can be, become tags or journaling cards. And now we have to poke holes again. So let's just treat this as one page, except I gotta be careful. Yep, that's gonna put that really close to the edge, so I'm moving this one up. So we'll just do it like that. And I'll come back to the other one in just a minute. Okay, let's do that. That's three holes. Let's make them share a third hole, I guess. We'll just do it this way. Yeah, this is a good idea. Do it from the bottom. <laughs> okay. Here we go again. One. Okay, 
and they overlap on that middle one. So when you're coming through here, that, that, that. And then I don't have another page for them. I have another note card, but I don't think we want that. So how many did I, I had two. I don't know, I'm counting that as one. So 17 needs one more page. Let's see if we can steal one from somewhere else. What's 18 got? 18's got, no, 17. That was 16. Only has one. Okay. Okay, that has two. I'll just grab some scrapbook paper and finish off this one. So, I can figure out where I put that big bad scrapbook paper. Oh boy, where did I go with it? I know. It's over here. Or, better yet, I've got these digitals. I want that yellow to be pretty with that. I'm going to take this, double it. Maybe. It's pretty flimsy paper, that's why I kind of hesitate to just put it in there by itself. So I have to trim off all the white with my blade that doesn't want to trim. Screech. I can just use my scissors. I got a line to cut on. reason my trimmer doesn't trim well is because I never can remember which blade to use. There's two of them, two different ones, and the one that's more plentiful is the one that doesn't work. So I need to take it with me sometime I go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, so get rid of this thing. Just thinking, of course that gives it two short pages. I guess I can do it like that. It's really no more flimsier than these pages, so okay, I'll just do that. Six and a half by nine. Six and a half. I just gotta cut it this time because I don't have any lines. Okay, scrap. Nine and a half, nine and a quarter. Even though I say a half, I know it's a quarter. We hope I knew it. Okay. All right, punching holes again. That's an extra. section 16 and there's 20 and I know for a fact 20 has three pages already in it. <laughs> it was the index so I'm not sure if I left all index papers in it or not. Okay so that's 16. 17 is construction. We got one. I guess this is as far as I got as far as um, putting getting ahead on papers. This is the same design, so I feel like we just use one. We can do it that way. Yes, let's do that. Maybe a little different since we just did two. Could only handle four holes. Nope, we can do five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I count it every time. <laughs> I guess I have plenty of notepads there. Or note cards, three of them. Oh. These will work well in those. If you watch the other video, some of some video, a little few videos back, I talked about how I had a lot of covers for small floral journals. So these can be some good pages for those. Okay. Let's just kind of see a have where we're at. 
18 has got one, 19 has got one, two. The reason I kept this page in, because, because it uh, talks about um, the different um, land grant institutions. This is in 1961. So like Oklahoma is the Oklahoma State University and it still is, I think. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting, but on the back of it too, it also told the state flowers and uh, trees. So for Oklahoma, we have the Eastern Redbud and the mistletoe was our flower. And the story behind the mistletoe being the flowers because it's really a parasite, right? But um, when people would die in the middle of winter, there wasn't flowers to put on their graves. So, but there was mistletoe growing in the tree, so I gave them some greenery. So that's when they started using it. So that's how it became the state flower. So anyway, uh, let me check the time on this. I'm sure I've gone way over. Oh, yep, I have. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. We should finish up the pages, and then we'll decide what to do from there. Bye. Hi, everyone. This is Cindy, and I'm working again on the Five Ring Binder Journal. And I think I'm to the, maybe the last section of pages. And you can see I've got stuff in the journal. Um, kind of ideas so we can make this go pretty smoothly. Um, first thing I, I want to do is I want to try putting a napkin over one of the pages that came originally in this journal and um, a binder and um, I'll get that out of our way. I picked this one, it had a little cute little flower there, but right in here and we can cover that up and have a pretty book page. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I'm doing it with the glue stick so it's not maybe as messy and I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna do it a section at a time so I don't want the uh, glue stick to dry out on me, so. We'll see how it goes. The worst thing that happens is we just have to throw away a napkin. And, oops, lots of glue. And the book pages, I have plenty of those. So let's go ahead and get half of this laid down. And if we have wrinkles, we have wrinkles. If we have parts that need to be trimmed off, that's fine too. And let's just keep gluing. I just thought this would be a pretty page and trying to do not every page something different but just some variety because there's a bunch there's like 60 pages and that doesn't count the dividers so okay I think that went fairly smooth even when the page went fairly smooth no wrinkles okay let's trim this up now I'm leaving the back page just the way it is because it has that, um, it has some information that's kind of useful and then that little picture in the corner. So I do have some glue on it though. Let's get that wiped off. Okay. Probably should use larger scissors. We need a little bit more glue in the corner. We'll grab that same way here. Okay, more napkin to use later. Okay, just about there. Okay, <laughs> let's glue some more on these corners. those these are okay Just a little bit more trimming right there okay there is the page now if I didn't do it upside down we're doing great which <laughs> who knows I probably did I think that looks pretty straight so okay let's punch holes and get it in the book and we'll see I try. I did, believe it or not, I went and got the other punch, hole punch, but it would not cut very well. It kept hanging part of it, I think that's clear, part of the uh, hole. It didn't cut all the way around like this one's doing. It's got that gooey 
napkin it doesn't like. I probably need to put more hole reinforcers. I think I call them page protectors. Or <laughs> it kind of is a protecting the page. Um, when I go through and put tags and stuff in, if I think it needs it, I will add it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, that's what it looks like. That is a very pretty page in our journal. And I think this is where I had it set to go, maybe. Let's just back up a little bit. We were, okay, let's just start here. Okay, but at least I got that out of the way. That was my goal, to get that stuff out of the way. Um, I had, I said I would come back to this, even though I think I have several more I need to come back to. I don't think 13 has anything to decorate. Oh, I do. Oh, just 12? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so thir 14 didn't. So um, I found this magazine page and picture, and it said flower power, so that's perfect. And I like the purples back to back, so here we go. I already um, backed it on a page from this original binder. I mean, original page from the binder. Stitched around it, so that would kind of uh, make that magazine page a little sturdier. And then um, we will glue it in as a side pocket. So that's 14 and it had three pages. 15 doesn't have this yet, but we'll come up with something. One, two, three pages. Now we were in 16, had one, two, three. 17, we got three in that one. And then 18, I think, is where we were at. So I found, I thought something to, to go on that because I thought that was really pretty. It goes well with these pick the colors. Then I realized it was an envelope, and I couldn't get, take myself. I couldn't get my um, get myself to yes, get myself to cut this off or just glue it all down. So I thought I decided, and I can't clip it on this because of that tab. You know, I thought well I could clip it, but then that you know the tab's covered up. It's gonna make it uneven and wiggly and all that. So forget that. So I thought well I can just put it on this page, and it just gives that lady a little something to lean on. And I had this paper clip with the burlap, and then uh, it kind of covers up the page here, and then you can still take it off and put stuff in it. Okay, that was my idea for that. So that's page one for 18. I got another sheet of this stationery and already cut it and already punched the holes, so you don't have to watch that again. So this can go in here. And I'm thinking I was going to put the purple here. That's 18. Oh, it goes this way. So it is... It's not upside down. Yay. Okay, then we have 19, and I have one page, and then I have the scrapbook paper. I just decided to fold it up, put some trim there, make it a little pocket. I punched the holes. That would be a page for 19, and then I showed you in the last video this page that shows the land grants for all the states. This was in 1961, and on this side it had the the um, state flowers and trees, and like I told you, Oklahoma's was eastern red bud and mistletoe. Oregon, right below Oklahoma's, Douglas fir and orange grape. I know, Oregon grape, Oregon grape. Oh, I never heard of that. So, what's some other states? Idaho is western white pine and the mock orange. Hmm. So, anyway, fun stuff. So, I kept those just blank. All right, 20 is the index. And it had a lot of pretty pictures from the original pages. So I just kept those, the tulips. And then this one has got the pictures on the back. And then this one. So 20 has got four pages. Um, and they're all original from the book. So I think we're done with the pages. Yay. Let's see how thick it is. It's not too unbearable. We do have some room for growth. So um, that one looks kind of wiggly. I'm going to move that one down kind of sticking up weird. Let's just move it down. There. So, and what is this sticking up? Oh, I made, I found that picture and was trying to work on a rose um, tag, drilling card actually. There, it can go there. So, and this was a page from the book and you can see the holes are there. I just left them there. So, Anyway, I was just messing around as I was going through looking for more pages. All right, so that's all the pages that we're going to put in here. Oh, 
Now I got pockets and tags and I have a whole bunch over here already made some behind me so that will be a whole nother organization and um, yeah we'll get started on that pretty quick. So anyway let me see what the time is on this one. Uh, nine minutes is not very long so let's um, I think I was through like seven before I needed more pockets because with the um, pocket there, pocket there there's a belly band, six, didn't really have many pockets, but it has writing space there and here. Seven is the one I just put that card in. So it could have a pocket on that, but I sure hate to. Here's eight. We could definitely put a pocket there. So why don't we grab one of these, um, things. Let's see what it would be like. If it was glued down, you'd fold it out. Can you see? Sort of. Let's just pretend like it's glued up here. You'd fold it down. You could fold it out. Yeah, so I think it glues on one side. So I think glue, glue, that way it works. So we're going to try that on this page. And it worked. the colors work real well with those pictures, the dahlias. So, and I noticed when I was flipping through that big, um, pack of scrapbook paper that a lot of these um, pockets came from that exact same scrapbook pad and that's good because it all kind of matches so this worked with it these pages all came out of the same one so look to see what other pockets we have we have, um, whoa, 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 things are going to be falling. There's that one. It's an envelope with napkin on it. So let's see. I don't think there'll be room in set. We're in eight. We're in eight. We could put something there. It needs to be a little bit taller, probably. So let's see if this will work in nine somewhere. Nine could have a tuck there. too tall to have a um, pocket up there. Lots of thoughts going into the pockets, where to place them and all that, so I think I will wait. At least, unless we get one of these that's a little taller. Like This is just like I took a book page and made a sack out of it. It can glue on there. Let's see what else I got. Could put this divider card and make that's kind of pretty. I like the yellow, so let's go ahead and put that one in. We'll make it into a um, side tuck. So, anyway, I think my next video might be a flip through because um, it's just a matter of putting some pockets in and, and um, some tags. I'm going to use ones that are already made. So um, it won't be like a process if you watch me make, you know, a pocket. <laughs> I have plenty already made. That would be cute as a tuck. So anyway, um, I'm holding this down and I'm going to let you go and I will see you in the next video. Bye.